Awesome. I'm going to mute everybody just because, and if you need to say anything, just unmute yourself. Thank you so much for joining us Monday morning. I would have my camera on, but it's so dark here. It's no bad. Um, so I welcome all of you, and I'm very happy uh, to have you here uh, Monday morning. So, you know, Robert and I went to the, did the regional in San Francisco, and I just want to say it was so great to see everybody in San Francisco. So many wonderful people. We had an absolutely wonderful time there. Uh, met a lot of new people, saw all of our great people, and a lot of you are on this uh, Zoom every morning. So it's always great to train with your pals, and I just loved it, and I know Robert did too. So I want to thank Johnny for hosting us and uh, you know, just being able to be in, in San Francisco. It was great. Um, so this is kind of a packed call this morning because it is Monday and I'm kind of going to go through some slides I put together, but we, I want to remind everybody of our SMART goals. So on Friday, we all came together and decided we were going to do some SMART goals for the week and then we were going to share some stories on Friday. So today our SMART goals for this week are list our fortune 14 for the new week so we kind of went over that on uh that we i do that on sundays and the reason why we do it is to kind of uh give us our two a day no matter what so there's absolutely no excuse two a day two a day two a day and um your list of fortune 14 is basically you know people that may be on your chicken list people maybe that you haven't talked to in six months maybe they were on your list before and fell off your list and you want to re-engage tell them about the eye serum Anybody that you want to do an exposure with that's on your exposure list is your Fortune 14, okay? So putting that together at the beginning of the week is really, really um, a great idea because it kind of takes the get out of just getting your 14 for the, for the month uh, done, okay? So, I mean, for the week done. And so it makes it easy to expose two people a day and then, and then follow up with two people a day. So last week we, we went out and we exposed our two people a day. So the idea is, is that we want to follow up. Um, Jim Rohn says the fortune is in the follow up. And we know that the fortune is in the follow up because every time we follow up, we get an answer. We get something. Okay. So we either get a no, we get a yes, we get a maybe, we get a move on, whatever, but we get somewhere. Uh, the third thing was sponsor one new brand partner. Now, I spoke to David Bird about this, um, and he said, look, you know, Annie, you want to go over your Class A prospects. Anybody that's uh, a Class A prospect, you want to ask them the question before the 23rd of this month, because on the 23rd is the Friday before Christmas. And pretty much, we have two solid weeks from today until the 23rd. We have two solid weeks to do some really great uh, exposing and some business but if you have some class A prospects what you want to do is just basically call them up and just say or see them face to face and say you know I think you and I should do this business together what do you think you ready to get started and and just put it out there because he said you know you're either gonna get a yes you're gonna get a no or you're gonna get a maybe but you're gonna know what you need to do and so what we're gonna do is of course on Friday is share a couple of success stories and see how everybody did and, uh, and so, so this week, um, these are our SMART goal activities. This is how I build my Fortune 14 every week. So I love our list in the back office. It's very, very helpful. You put the names down, the phone numbers, and then basically how you want to expose them. So if you have a lot of product at home, maybe you want to start getting product out to people so they can start using it for the holidays. Um, if you want to share a video and you're rushed for time, you know, to take, to, to send out two videos a day to people is pretty simple. It takes a few minutes. So you can decide how you want to approach that, but, but by making the list, it's a lot more intentional and you can make it happen. Um, I did this at the regional and we talked a lot about the SMART goals and what was realistic and measurable. And so if you're starting out new people uh, in your organization in the last month or two, you really want to concentrate on just the A activities. I really feel like when you do the A activities and you make something happen in somebody's organization, they're more apt to be excited to do it again and again because what happens? They got results. So uh, making your list of 100 with your brand partner or doing it again yourself if you want to relaunch your business. And of course, the highest pay activity that any of us can be doing is scheduling a real results party and inviting guests and exposing our people uh, with our different uh, ways, product, video, event, three-way call. 
So you can see here that these are easy things to do and we want to make it simple for everybody, especially when we're busy. You know, when we're busy, busy people seem to find a way to do a lot of stuff. Um, so making it really simple and easy to do uh, is, is a better way to just kind of explain, well, this is really all you have to do if you want to, if you want to make something busy. And of course, if you want to supercharge your results, you want to make things happen quicker and faster, you can supercharge your activity. And we're all about that. So this is something that I want us all as a team uh, on this mastermind call to work on. I want us to work on our 32nd testimonial. So to, starting tomorrow, we're going to pick a couple people from the group and um, I'm just going to randomly pick you if you come on and if you don't want to do it, you don't have to, but I want us to start learning how to do our 30 second testimonial, which actually helps us to maybe greet the room when we are hosting a party or hosting an RRP for somebody or possibly, you know, hosting a market party because everybody on this mastermind should be learning. If you're not doing a, a RRP or you're not doing a market party yourself, you should be learning how to do that. And the faster you learn how to do that, the better off you are for your team and the better off you are duplicating that. So the 30 second testimonial is really important because when you're at a RRP, you want to be in front of the room. You want to talk uh, a little bit. If you're the hosting or helping somebody host, you want to basically tell very quickly your name, where you're from, what your background is, and why you chose Miriam. And you don't want it to go more than 30 seconds because a lot of people, you know, uh, you lose them, okay? So you want to make your story quick. You want to make it fun. You want to make it interesting, and you want to move on to the next. And so we're going to start practicing that starting tomorrow. Um, so get your 30 second testimonial together, everybody. <laughs> and I'll st it'll start with me. I'll start and uh, we can go from there. And um, the next thing is what I just said. Okay, so everybody should be able to, on this mastermind call, start learning how to not only host an RRP, and I hope you're all doing that, but also uh, the market party. And I think what what would be really great for you to do is if there is a market party in your area um, and let's say you've been to a couple and you say, well, you know, I've been to a couple, I don't really need to go. You know, Robert reminded me uh, at the regional this weekend that when we first got started, there was a few regionals around, I mean, a few uh, market parties around, but you know, they were far away. Uh, one was in Orange County, one was in Ventura, and we had to seriously get in our car and travel in traffic for a couple hours sometimes just to go to a market party. But we made it an adventure, and the reason why is, is because we knew that we wanted to be a student of this business, and we wanted to learn how to be a good presenter. And the only way you learn how to be a good presenter is if you watch other people present and you see how they do it. You know, we also read books on TED Talk on how to make your talks interesting and more fun and really engage your audience. And we've also joined Toastmasters, which is something that, you know, we never really thought we would do, but it actually has helped us immensely in talking to people and listening to people and really understanding, you know, what's effective when you're talking to a group of people. And you guys, that's what we do. We bring people together and we talk to people. That's really all we do. And we share information. So if you can be a good communicator and a good listener and you can learn how to communicate effectively, your RRPs and your market funds will go very, very well. And people will be engaged and a lot uh, more inclined to stick around and listen to what you have to say. So um, when you're doing a... Um, we've been talking a lot about doing customer appreciation and why that's such a powerful thing in this business. And we talked a lot about uh, this weekend about why the customer is so important and how that really affects your overall uh, volume and, and your foundation of your business. And so I shared with everybody our, um, how we do a, you know, customer appreciation on zoom. And we went through the slides and it was literally a, less than a 10 minute presentation on helping uh, people gather customers together. So as a leader here on this call, every single one of you can put together uh, your own slides or you can take my slides and you can change them out and put your picture at the top and change out whatever you want. But the idea is, is that if you can get a few customers to engage in a customer appreciation on Zoom or on the phone or some way to kind of share with them how great it is that they're your customer 
and tell them a little bit about the products and really kind of future them a little bit about what's coming in January, you know, and let them know that you're going to be so excited to share with them what our new product is. This is a way for you to stay in touch. And also staying in touch with your customers is really important because we talked about this last week on how, you know, um, the credit card companies, especially around this time, seem to decline cards just because they just do because of fraud, because there's so much activity. And statistically, I read an article that when the credit card gets declined, if you don't, if you don't call your customer and let them know, they just don't do anything about it. And they, don't, they don't ever re reestablish it. Sometimes, uh, and this is not just Miriam, this is across the world, you guys. It's billions and billions of dollars of people that decline. So you want to stay close to your customer because you want to make sure that you're on top of what you're doing. You know, I got a call yesterday from a customer who said, you know, I'm, uh, if you can believe this, she said, I love the EHT, but I think it might be drying out my skin. And I said, wow, that's the first time I've ever heard that one. Um, but she said, you've been such a great um, sponsor to me. And I just really appreciate it. And when I'm ready to get some more eye serum, I'll call you up. But could you uh, put my EHT on hold? And I said, of course, you know, I'd be happy to do that. So that was an example for me that I've been staying in touch with my customers a lot more just to be more customer service oriented. And I promise you this, if you have a foundation of customers in your business, your business will stay foundational. And uh, that's a big deal, you guys. Okay, so Spotlight 17. Every single day I'm going to talk about Spotlight 17 and why it's important that we go to our team and we make sure that we bring along everybody with us. You know, um, a lot of you know that in the beginning, Robert and I didn't always see the value in why it was so important to bring people to regionals and, and do all that. And then we learned that we had to learn this craft. We had to learn this industry. And all of you on this um, Zoom show up every day. I mean, my gosh, you show up every day for information. And I, I really appreciate that and I value that. Our job as a team, our job as a mastermind group now is to go into our team and really, you know, impart that vision to our team, why we want them to be at Spotlight 17, why we want them to bring their people because, you know, people follow the people that brought you in. So, you know, if you're a good sponsor to your people, they're going to follow you, but you have to help them be a good sponsor to their people because that's who's following them. Their people are following them. So... You know, I know that um, a lot of people are getting party buses together. They're having it be a real event. You know, they're getting dressed up. It's really going to be a great day. And it is going to be a longer day because we're going to learn a lot. We're going to learn a lot of information about our product that's coming out. And it's a way for us to be together, train together, and really s sort of build community. And I don't think there's anything better when you're in business um, and you have people that you're working with that you build that kind of bond and community. So this is a way that you can kind of come together after the first of the year and really refresh yourself, refresh your team, and really focus on what we're going to be doing for 2017. So I'm pretty excited about this, you guys. And every single day, I'm going to remind us, okay, that we should be talking to our team about, about what uh, is coming. Okay. And, um, we talked a little bit, uh, uh, last week about Columbia. This again is another, uh, and as you can see a lot's going on with Miriam, it's very exciting time uh, to be part of this company, you know, and to be at the beginning of this company. So, you know, Columbia is, is opening in January. So we're going to be doing some, you know, mar uh, market parties and some informational Zooms. And so all you really need to do is if you know somebody here that knows somebody there, or you know uh, some, some people there, if they speak Spanish, you know, let Robert and I know. If they speak Sp English, let us know. We have the uh, slides now for Columbia in both English and Spanish. So we can do these presentations and start gathering a group of people together, um, but you have to let us know. And, uh, and then we'll arrange it and we'll, we'll help you arrange it with your team and your people. And I'll tell you, the more people we can gather together for one event on a Zoom, it, the synergy is amazing. So, so just start doing that. Start gathering your names and let's, um, let's start doing that because we open on the 19th, but we'd love to be starting to get people looking at all of these different cities that we're going to be having corporate events at. Okay. And so I've listed them there. 
So um, I've so far I've had one person want to do their two minute video for the Epic page, and um, I'm so excited, Gilbert, that you have decided to do it. And um, I'm hoping that uh, some of you else who are who are on the Zoom will do that because again, I'm going to remind you every day. I want to highlight this group. You guys are amazing, and you're doing amazing things, and things are moving, and your team is moving. So this is a way that we can bring some noise to you and really uh, recognize you for all of your efforts and what you're doing on the team. Okay, so that's really my presentation for today, but I want, Randy reminded me before we got together and we, before we started today of a couple of things that I said at the regional this weekend that I've been doing. And uh, so one of them was that every day I do seven cards, seven or eight cards, and I send out a thank you to the customers that I have and customers that have actually rolled up to me. And I send out, um, of course, the eye serum packets uh, with a note saying, thank you so much for being a customer. I'm not sure if you've had an opportunity to try our new product. It's absolutely amazing. And here's a couple of samples for you. I hope you have an awesome holiday. Love, Annie. And here's my phone number if you'd love to order some product. Okay, so that's one of the things that I've been doing. But the other thing that I did yesterday when I was able to be out and about before our meeting was we were, Robert and I were going in and out of some stores, and unfortunately, I had forgotten. I had my eye serum cards from corporate that I, I mean, from our store corporate that I had bought, the eye serum cards, which are amazing, which is what I attached the, the eye serum packets to. I had them in my bag, but I didn't have my eye serum attached to them. So I thought, okay, what's the next best thing? So I was going in and out of some stores to do a little shopping, and everybody that I spoke to, uh, you know, I would say, oh, you know, somehow or another came around to what I did. And uh, I said, oh, I'm in the anti-aging business. I said, as a matter of fact, I'd love to send you some samples. I have a card here. It kind of shows what the eye serum does. Would you give me your address and I'll send you some free samples? I, I am not kidding you. Every single person gave me their address and they were excited about it. I got, I got more addresses to follow up with uh, yesterday. I think I got seven. Um, so uh, today I have seven people to not only that I met yesterday that I can literally write a note to with two little eye serums who are expecting my surprise. They're expecting their samples, looking forward to my, to my correspondence. And that was one of the, the best seven exposures I've ever done <laughs> because I absolutely got, um, exactly what I wanted, which is what, what, uh, everyone wanted. So uh, basically, you guys, that is um, our Zoom today, and I just wanted to open it up here if anyone had any questions or comments that they'd like to share with the group, and um, so fire away, anybody. I just want, oh, this is Randy, uh, I, I just want to share that uh, I was at the regional with Annie, and that idea that she shared with you just now is an awesome idea. Uh, for sharing the eye serum and it triggered a thought in my head. I'm sending out Christmas cards holiday cards today And I'm gonna put eye serum in it because I just recently redeemed my thousand dollars worth of Miriam gives back and got ten boxes of those uh, Packets and so I have plenty of them to send out. So thank you Annie. That was awesome. Oh That's great Randy. I love that idea. That's awesome. Anybody else have any questions? Good morning, Annie and Robert. This is Jean-Yves. Can you hear me? I can. Hi, Jean. How are you? Uh, we're feeling better. My wife and I were under the weather. Oh, I'm but, sorry. Uh, my question is, uh, how do I order the samples? I'm still trying to get started, you know, so I'm still brand new at this. I look forward to doing the business, but um, so that's one thing. How do I order those samples? Well, Jean, you know what I'm going to do is you and I will talk after the Zoom and I'll walk you through that. And I'm really happy that you've joined us and that you're excited about the business. I know you guys don't know this, but um, he just started, but they became three or free in like two days, which is awesome. And uh, they're just starting their business. And um, uh, I can, and we're going to take it all over the world, right, Jean? Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> Especially I'm from... Uh... France and my wife is from Philippines so we'll go both, both directions that's right and we're gonna go with you if you don't mind 
Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I have to have you there first with me. <laughs> okay, good. So I'll call you. We'll talk afterwards, and I'll get you set up on your um, packets, okay? Okay, look. Okay, great. Anybody else have anything to share? I want to share something, Annie. Hi, good, Karen. Good morning. Thanks for um, allowing me to jump on, and welcome to the family, Jean. I'm super excited for you and everybody, but I just really just – have to just share my enthusiasm with you guys. Um, I, I truly believe that there is an 11th core commitment. Some of you might have heard me say this at some of the, the regionals, and that is the after event. And in this case, on January 6th, the before event, I will say I am so excited about this Spotlight 17, you guys, and only because I remember <clears throat> back in my previous company, June 30th was our end of the year, and I, I remember everybody all around the world finishing up their annual goals and reaching their, their um, you know, Queen's Court of Sales and Queen's Court of Recruiting, and I always felt that, that energy going on. I always thought, oh my gosh, people are just running for the gold stand. They're finishing up today, and this morning, I was on a Zoom call with Japan, and um, I was sharing with them as well, as reminding them that theirs is going to be, of course, Jack. January 8th, and I said, I'm going to be thinking about you guys while we're sitting here in the United States, knowing that they're in Japan watching the same thing that we're going to be watching, the excitement, just, I seriously cannot sleep, you guys, and so I'm just super excited just to remind everybody, like Annie said, Spotlight 17, but I want to encourage you all to invite a prospect. Guys, have somebody there that's sitting on the fence, sitting there thinking about near him, seeing what maybe this could, could, how this could fit into their world and bring them, show them what's going on because I truly believe that we are in the next run and it's going to be so exciting. Anybody who's with us come January, if not before, is going to see what's going to be going on because man, Jeff is bringing it. It is near him on steroids. It's, it's new partnerships. It's new, of course, product line. It's, it's press releases. It's so many things that are going to be going on, you guys, that you don't want anybody who you feel, I hate to say this, needs this. We don't need anybody, right? We don't need to bring, you know, beg anybody. But, man, if, they, if you think that this is something for them and they can run with this, invite them to Spotlight 17 and, of course, um, you know, be there on, on the, the 6th as well out here. So I just wanted to share that. So I'm really super excited. Thanks, Karen. Thanks for sharing that. That's awesome. All right, you guys, that's great. Does anyone else have anything to share or um, comment on? Okay, I know we got a lot of information today and I'm really um, excited about all of it. If you have any questions about anything, I'm going to put this Zoom on the page so you can go back and listen to it if you missed anything. And I just thank you so much for joining us today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie. Thank you, Annie.